Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you all the things I was able to uh, snag during the Black Friday sale. And I'm also going to be doing a separate video of like gift ideas that I think would be really good. Um, and you may see of these some of these products on repeat. But some of these products I'm familiar with, some of them are, I picked them up because they were at a good deal and I've been wanting to try them. So let's go ahead and get started. I do not ever <laughs> buy Lululemon leggings because they're usually, they're usually $98 and so no. But these were actually 50 bucks during Black Friday. And I picked them up because they are like this dark olive green color. I'm not sure if that's going to come off on camera. It's coming off like a little bit brown, but it is an olive tone. Um, I don't have this color and I feel that um, these would be perfect either to work out or to wear with a nice chunky sweater. What I like about these is that at the bottom it doesn't have like a hem or any kind of stitching so it kind of just it lays up against your skin uh, so I thought that was pretty cool and so I'll keep you guys posted I these are not the first pair of Lululemon leggings that I've tried I've actually tried um, I think it was the Align brand no I wasn't a bag I wasn't a big fan of that one so this one is the base pace high rise tight and 25 inch size two for those of you who use me as a size reference i am a size two in lululemon leggings so here we are i'll keep you guys posted as to whether or not i like these but i just love the color i know it's coming up brown on camera it is not brown it has an olive green undertone all right moving right along this is actually a product that i'm very familiar with and i use a lot which is why i picked it up during the black friday sale amazon was having the best deal on the original makeup erasers i personally like the seven day set because of their size you get a seven of them and it comes with its own little laundry bag i picked up the eat your greens set which is all different shades of green and i picked up the cool gal set which is like a bunch of blue ones and i'll show you what they look like now guys i when i tell you these were like i think like 60 percent off so because i'm a content creator and i'm constantly making videos for you guys i use these a ton and when i can get them at a good deal like that i definitely uh pick them up so you and this is the cool gal set so you get gray this is like a gray with like a pewter blue undertone you get a white one um actually this is a light gray i'm sorry <laughs> this is the white one you get like a dusty blue you get like a cool toned baby blue this is like a mint blue and then you get a navy blue so love that here's a little laundry bag it comes with so you can um, toss them into the wash and store them once they're clean the green one i mean for those of you who don't know my favorite color is green so naturally i was gonna pick up this set again the little laundry bag and then in here we have an emerald green we have like a sagey green a white a like a deep hunter kind of green we have another like i would say this is like a lighter like a lighter green this is you can see like one's darker than the other sage uh but i'm thinking i'm wondering if these two colors are the same so this one is actually a little bit deeper than this one i don't know if it's gonna come off on camera and then we have like an off-white ivory uh shade 
I really, I use these a lot, which is why I pick them up. And I had completely forgot that Amazon sells original make the original makeup erasers they i used to buy them at ulta and i don't think ulta carries them anymore because i don't see anything in stock for this brand at ulta i think i only see like one or two products so i think they may be phasing out of ulta and going like strictly through amazon but i'll keep you posted on that so i ended up picking up these two sets because I needed some I have quite a few but like at the rate that I'm creating content I, I needed a couple of more sets uh, next thing I picked up was something that I wanted to try it is the good molecules correcting serum this is like to get rid of dark spots and since I have some acne spots my skin has not been the best lately I thought I would give this a go because I tried the toner and I really like the toner so I picked this up during the Black Friday sale. I also picked up uh, two products from REM Beauty. I picked up their um, these called? their liquid eyeshadows. I picked up Fembot and Lab Coat. Shelby Wilson turned me to these because she uses them a lot and she's been using them for quite some time and she really likes them so i decided to give them a go these are more like topper shades and i'm gonna swatch them for you guys so this one is fembot which i think is like the most popular color it has a very pink lavender holographic tone to it I thought it would be beautiful for the holidays to try on as a topper shade and then lab coat is more of it's like the same thing but with a white base instead of like a lavender paint base So I'll keep you guys posted. I will do a look um, using these and let, let you guys know how I like them. Um, if you guys have are very familiar with REM Beauty, can you please leave me a comment down below? Tell me if you've tried their liquid shadows and whether you like them or not. Um, I also, by the way, for those of you who don't know, Lush is at Ulta. You can buy Lush products at Ulta let me say it one more time a little bit louder for those of you in the back lush lush is being sold at ulta i'm over the moon because i love lush but my closest lush store is not that close so i usually like there's been a while since i bought products from them because i don't have them nearby and now that they're sold at ulta i'm here for it you know this is the citrus soaks bubble duo like guys, you can smell this out of the box. This is a clean um, body brand and they sell like bath bombs and bubble bars. So this is what you get on the inside. You get a lemon crumble, bubberoon, um, zingy citrus foam bar and you get a bright side bubble bar it is mood boosting triple citrus i like i'm very familiar with lush products and oh my gosh i just i love their bubble bars and their bath bombs so their bubble bars are substantial like look at the size of this it doesn't stain your tub either like people always ask me that question like lush products are very bright in colors it's never i've been using them for years it's never stained my tub so you just break off a piece of this a little bit goes a long way and just break off a piece of this and you toss it in your bath and it creates bubbles and the most beautiful smell and aroma you could ever imagine and then in here you have this lemon that has lost its stem <laughs> in transit and this 
Oh wow, yeah, it smells like lemons. It smells very energizing. So to clarify, both of these are bubble bars, except that the lemon one, which is a bubble rune, um, is designed to be a more moisturizing. It has like cocoa butter and all that in it, so you have like a nice moisturizing bubble bath. I love, again, I love Lush products, so I'm so happy that they are now at Ulta. Absolutely over the moon. I don't know who decided to make that executive decision, but they need a raise. I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, moving right along. This was something that I had my eye on, and I, although I did not get it on sale, I bought this because I want to wear it for Christmas. And this is the Quince, what is it called again? I forget. This is the Quince Cotton Fisherman a sweater. If you use me as a size reference, I am a size medium. I like that oversized fit to this. I made the mistake of buying this in, a, I think it was a small or an extra small, is a little bit it's not the look I'm going for. These fisherman sweaters look best when you size up a couple of sizes. So I went with a medium and this particular shade is dark red. I know on camera it's coming up as like a very bright red, but actually it is a very deep crimson red. You guys know I'm very particular about my reds. I like for them to have kind of like a blue undertone. This definitely has a blue undertone, although the camera is not picking it up. Um, I will be wearing this this Christmas. This is going to be my holiday Christmas outfit. I am I am over the moon with the fisherman sweaters from Quince. They're very thick. They're uh, heavy, and they do keep they do a good job at keeping you warm. They feel, you know, luxurious. I have been purchasing. Uh, products from Quinn for the past two years. The stitching is amazing. This is like either the best thing that you can possibly buy for yourself for the holidays or somebody else. But I hope they make this red part of their permanent collection because this this is my type of red. You can follow me on Instagram because I will be posting pictures of this sweater and like how I'm gonna style it on there. But I think this is really, really good quality and this would be like the third color I own. I own white, gray, and now this color. Moving right along. This is an Amazon purchase that I have kept on the hanger because it's quite a large piece. This is a black corduroy jacket that I got for a steal from Amazon. It looks it looks like denim. Doesn't it look like denim? But it's not denim. It's actually corduroy and I'm gonna show you it has these metal buttons but seeing that texture it's corduroy but it looks like denim. I love the distressed look but my favorite part is that on the bottom it has this little distressed look but when you flip it in the back it is like asymmetric almost it just it's a whole vibe like this jacket is a whole vibe i of course will be showing you guys mod shots of this as well but i love that i love that jacket i think i'm gonna get a lot of use out of it moving right along i picked up you guys know I mentioned this in my community tabs, all of the Henry Rose candles were $25 and I got two of each um, fragrance because I think that they may, they may be phasing out their candles. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what's happening because the email said that they were making room for newer things. I don't know, but I love their candles. This is windows down. And I stocked up on these candles. The throw of this is amazing. This is a clean beauty brand for those of you who um, are not familiar. This is a clean luxury beauty brand. 
I think that if you are looking for fragrance products for your body, for your home, that are clean and actually last, like your very high-end expensive fragrances, Henry Rose is where you need to go. I'm telling you right now, I rave about this brand on my channel all the time because every product I try from them, I'm just always super impressed with the throw, the longevity of all of their products. I think they're very well made and they can compete with brands like Tom Ford, Chanel, um, what's that? I can't remember the, the name. Uh, I know the name of the fragrance. I think it's Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't know. I think it's Maison. I can't remember the, the, the brand, but I believe that this brand is up there with those guys. Okay, next up, this was like, these products were part of like an extended Black Friday sale that was at Ulta. I picked up the Viral Tweezer Man um, beauty tool. This is like, this is a lash guard and comb in one. I can't take this out right now because it's actually taped shut but um i bought this as a gift for a friend and this basically you hold it up to your eye it has a hole you hold it up to your eye your lashes go through the hole and then you apply your mascara and then you never get mascara on your top lid and it also has a comb on the other end so if you want to comb out your lashes you can do that as well this seems like an awesome product but i will keep you guys posted as to whether this is worth it or not so i did end up getting that during like a black friday special i also picked up from tweezer men a mini nail rescue kit uh because they have um they have some of the best tweezers and um nail clippers on the market but i got this because it actually has a cuticle cutter i was able to find scissors in my house because we have currently lost our kitchen scissors and i was able to get this open for you guys so i really want you guys to see what i'm talking about here so this is a thing this is a little tool right and so you put your eye through here like this you see how my lashes are out and out of the way Okay, I apply my mascara and then you never get mascara on your eyelids. This is perfect for those of you with short eyelashes or long eyelashes because you with short eyelashes have a hard time like not getting, you know, um, mascara on their lids. But people with long lashes have an issue where while they're putting on the mascara, they always tend to touch the brow bone. I'm really excited to try this and then it has like this comb at the top you see that at the top here so you can brush your lashes so the miniature manicure set uh, comes with four pieces but the reason I picked it up is because of this particular tool I've been wanting to try this so it comes with a little cover but basically what this is an on-the-go um cuticle cutter which is perfect because you can't i don't believe you can take a cuticle cutter on a plane with you but you can take something like this i believe and it cuts your cuticles like supposed to cut your cuticles just as good we'll see because this is going to be the first time i try this but as somebody who does like i do my nails every week and so I would definitely get a lot of use out of this. Uh, you also get this tiny tool that pushes back your cuticle and like scoops out uh, whatever like you need uh, when you, you know, trim or file your nail. You have one of these little nail files that I actually use this to remove like the excess nail polish from around my fingers when I do my nails and a nail clipper. I didn't think this was possible, but I did recently throw away a nail clipper because it had completely lost its edge. I had that nail clipper for like a solid 10 years. So dang, right? 
<laughs> I know, I know the longevity on it, but I'm really excited to try this little miniature um, manicure set and I'll tell you how good it is or how effective it is. I kind of just wish it would have come with like a nicer case. It's just this clear uh, plastic case. I don't know. It has like a lot of scratches on it because it, the stuff in here are like swishing and sliding everywhere. So I would have preferred like maybe a baggie of some sort. That's just me, personal preference. <laughs> okay, and moving right along to the last uh, products that I picked up. This was from Glossier. I placed a giant order from Glossier because... I've been wanting to try their products and they had, I think it was 30, I got 30% off my order. So I just went ahead and I picked up all the things that I wanted to try. All right, by the way, this is how it comes packaged. So since I was super pleased with the Glossier U fragrance that I picked up during the Sephora sale, I did pick up the candle. And it comes in this really beautiful vessel and this is what the candle looks like I plan to keep this vessel once I'm done with it for makeup brushes and it smells exactly like the fragrance I cannot wait to light this on fire okay moving right along I did pick up the hand cream I haven't even opened it yet because I've been um, waiting to do this video with you guys so i picked up the hand cream set can i just say like i didn't read the ounces uh for this but it doesn't show it here on the packaging maybe it'll tell me on the cream but i was kind of surprised at how big it actually was um it says that it's 1.7 fluid ounces it is a like rubbery tube and then you have this like open and close mechanism and then your cream comes out through here so i'm really excited to try their hand cream i've heard really good things about it and of course i will keep you guys posted i also picked up the glossier um stretch fluid foundation i picked up the shade light too i guessed on my shade uh, this says that this is described as a light to medium coverage natural finish Apply one to two pumps onto clean and moisturized skin and blend for a seamless finish. Add for add more for extra coverage. The undertone of this, like I said, I guess this either is going to be too light or too dark for me. We will see. But looking at the bottle, I think it should be fine. It has this pump mechanism. I will be demoing this for you guys and doing a wear test and giving you my thoughts on it. So that will be coming, that will be a video coming your way soon. I also picked up the viral, um, do, uh, uh, what are these called? Bomb.coms or Universal Salves. I picked up their like most famous uh flavors which is cookie butter and hot cocoa but i also picked up the lavender one because it was actually cheaper it came in a set with the cream and i actually got like a heavier discount on it so i picked up the lavender one as well so i picked up a cookie butter let me just show you what these look like here's the packaging these the cookie butter and the hot cocoa sold out immediately last year and people were pissed <laughs> they were demanding for these uh flavors to come back and so they brought them back now smelling them out of the tube this smells like swiss chocolate you know hot chocolate you know that powder hot chocolate we all love I have never tried this these bomb.com salves and I'm gonna tell you right now it is a salve it is a salve oh yeah I can tell I can tell why people love this scent oh my gosh this smells amazing so this is the um hot cocoa one and you can see it is a salve it's not very you know shiny or whatnot let me clean this up because this is uh, quite a mess. By the way, I'm glad that I waited to pick this up. Um, 
when they changed the packaging because it used to be they didn't they didn't used to have like the applicator like this how they have now they had no applicator and i just always thought that looks like it's gonna be a mess this smells let's see like the shades of this are just amazing so we're just gonna start there oh my gosh this smells like Oh my gosh, it smells exactly like cookie butter, but better. <laughs> so there is cookie butter. I'll keep you guys posted on this. I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to love it just because of the scent. But I'm going to be objective about it. I'll let you know if it's worth the hype. Moving on to the lavender one. The lavender one I picked up because I saw a girl on Instagram. I can't remember what her name is or her account. I'm sorry. Um... It just randomly came up on my feed and I saw her demo this lavender shade and I was like, oh wow, that's something I would be into. And it has a very light lavender scent. I can get down with this. You guys know I'm not a really big fan of lavender scents, but look how pretty that little violet um, lip balm right there. Look at how beautiful that color is. Okay, I will keep you guys posted, of course, on all of these products. I will also do like a shorts, probably, um, showing you each color on my lips. I feel like that would be helpful. I was going to pick up the foundation brush that went with this particular fluid stretch founda foundation, but I guess they sold out. So I ended up picking up the weightless finishing powder. Uh, the color that I picked up was G8 through G10. It's called the Wowder Powder. And this is a clean beauty brand, if I haven't mentioned it already. But this is like the packaging of what it comes in. And then you just kind of swirl your brush in there. This has like a raised top so that the powder doesn't go everywhere when you are not using it. So I thought it was very well made and I'm just gonna try it with the foundation and let you guys know if I think it's good. Um, although I purchased this from the Glossier website, uh, this stuff is sold uh, at Sephora with the exception I think of, I don't think Sephora has the candles. So I also picked up one of their blushes in the color Wisp. And this is a cloud paint. This is the only color not sold at Sephora. I don't know why, don't ask me. It is going to be a lavender blush. You guys know I am a big fan of lavender blushes. So I will be demoing this for you guys as well and let you know what I think. I picked up another candle. This one's called Orange Blossom Neroli. And they just released like a sagey colored candle, which I can't remember the name of. But first of all, can we just talk about the packaging? This is what it looks like. And then you pop this open like a book and it says, fill in the story with your own memories. Love, G. <laughs> and then you have your candle nestled in there. Let's see, let's pop it out. In this beautiful light pink vessel, which again, I will be keeping and using for my makeup brushes. This smells divine. This one smells better than the red one. That's just my personal preference. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But I, what a good gift for somebody, you know what I mean? And it's a clean beauty brand, so you don't have to worry about toxic smells with your animals and stuff like that. The very last thing that I picked up during the sale was their makeup bag. I have heard wonderful things about this bag, and the reason I picked it up was because of what's inside. So this is what it looks like. It's quite large. I was kind of... Um, surprised by its size even though like the bag itself you see how it has like the measurements of the dimension of the bag 
yeah okay well when i'm like shopping i don't pay attention to those kinds of things online but uh you have one zipper on the front of the bag here goes all the way to the bottom the tabs are red and the red accents of this bag is the exact shade of red from their you perfume so and the pink is like the exact pink of this orange blossom neroli candle i can't wait to try like the sagey green one i'm i haven't purchased it but i hope it comes to sephora uh and then um let me show you why i purchased this. on the inside it has a velcro insert that you can snap on and off where you can keep your stuff organized and then in the back you have another pocket very well made this right here this is what sold me it's that insert if this would have been like a clean like a plain open bag i probably wouldn't have picked it up but because it had that insert i'm here for that i'm here for that kind of organization so i will be doing a video demoing all of these things for you guys so stay tuned all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time bye